Good evening, I'm Skylar York and welcome to this week's UAW Update. Temperatures across the Illawarra are up to 15 degrees higher than usual as an El Nino weather event commences. The university presented their formal statement on the upcoming referendum and student poems from across Australia will help plant a forest in Wollongong. The Illawarra is experiencing sweltering spring temperatures amidst heatwave warnings for the south coast. This week, Bulambi and Albion Park reached their hottest September days in 25 years. The Bureau of Meteorology has officially declared an El Nino weather event and experts are warning it's the first of many heatwaves to come. The early change in weather prompted locals to flock to the beach to escape the heat. It was just a really hot day today, so we had to go to the beach. Authorities are urging people to take the heatwave warning seriously and take precautions against heat-related illness. Wollongong Harbour was abuzz over the weekend with sounds of chainsaws and incredible wood chopping talent. Driti Bade has the story. The sound of roaring chainsaws fills the air amidst the stunning backdrop of Wollongong Harbour. For the first time since 2018, a free, family-friendly, still timber sports championship has returned to New South Wales. With food trucks, a bar and live music, the small community was suddenly the epicentre of such a large-scale event. Back in 2018, uh, it was a little bit smaller scale event. Uh, we've since grown since then and the, the event has come on and it's a lot larger scale these days. The competition featured rookies and seasoned pros battling it out in various disciplines, including the underhand chop, stock saw and standing block chop. 21-year-old Matt Coffey emerged as the rookie champion who narrowly missed out on the World Championships last year. Well, to prepare for that professional round, um, yeah, I'll just go home and I'll just keep doing what I do. Work hard, train harder. Jamie Head took home the win in the Pro Championship. I love Australia, uh, you know, got to represent them a number of times in the team scenario, but uh, you know, this will be my first uh, individual one, so I'm super pumped. But it wasn't just about the athletes. The enthusiastic audience played a pivotal role in the event's success. Extremely exciting. Today, watching O'Toole conquer that with the hot saw was riveting. This event's an unbelievable event. It's a great venue. Steel Timber Sports is the best. The champions who today will carry the Australian flag to the Steel Timber Wood Individual World Championships in Germany on 3rd of November 2023. It's an exciting time for all timber sports enthusiasts. Driti Beb, UOW TV. The UOW Student Advisory Council held a voice to parliament ceremony on Wednesday to formally present their statement in support of the upcoming referendum. Students gathered at the Wulyunga Indigenous Centre on campus to hear university executives provide an in-depth understanding of the university's official statement. Signatures from UOW students supported the statement, showing solidarity for a voice to parliament. The event opened conversations, allowed attendees to network, enjoy some free food and show their support for the cause. After five years of planning, Kayama's very own brewery and pub has received consent to start planning construction. Trent Alchin has the story. Kayama's streets are filled with a range of cafes, restaurants and pubs. But one thing it doesn't have is its own brewery. Local business entrepreneurs Neil Menzies and Sam Haldane have been working on a brew house concept since 2018 and they are optimistic that the construction can begin in the next six months. We hope to be sitting down here pouring beers and having a nice refreshing aisle in the sun within 12 months. Behind me is this business's soon to be location where this retired vehicle repair shop will be transformed into the proposed brewery and pub. Bringing with it about 20 jobs, Black Beach Brewhouse on Collins Street will wrap around the enhanced petrol station, which is currently getting its old tanks from the 60s replaced so that everything is in compliance and the brew pub can achieve better environmental credentials. It's been a really good proposal. I think I'm really excited to see what happens um, with it and I hope that they have a really successful visit. Planning for this 700 square metre space is starting to progress with alarming quickness. And the buzz around Kaima's new brewery is palpable. Yeah, I'm turning 18 soon, so I'm pretty decided to go down there and see what's happening. I'm, I'm, I'm getting placed here every day. I mean, yeah, it sounds good if it's going to be, you know, not replacing any old business and it's going to, you know, bring Kaima life kind of more hustling and bustling. Trent Olchin, UOW TV. A partnership between Wollongong City Council and Red Room Poetry will see hundreds of trees planted in Wollongong after this year's Poem Forest competition. 
The Nature Inspired Writing Prize invites students and teachers from schools across Australia to use their poetry to take positive climate action. The competition closes this Friday and for every poem received, a tree will be planted here in Wollongong. We've received over 5,300 poems so far, so that's 5,300 seedlings that will be planted in the Wollongong LGA to grow up and become tiny forests, um, street trees uh, and create that canopy. You can find the published nature poems on their website, redroompoetry.org.au. I'm Skylar York and this has been the UOW Update. Thank <laughs> you.